Welcome back to our channel and if you're new welcome my name's Lisa so today's video is going to be a birthday prep and birthday vlog for Zach's seventh birthday now Zach didn't have any parties or anything like that so there wasn't a huge amount of prep to do literally all I did was just pop up a few balloons um, just to kind of dress the place up a little bit and make it you know sort of feel a little bit more birthday like I did originally plan on making a birthday cake for him um, well first of all I kind of thought shall I buy one and then I thought no I'll make one I'll just make him like a sponge cake with some buttercream icing on and then I ended up making cupcakes just because I thought that um, a birthday cake is lovely but it's quite difficult to sort of like get around to eating all of it with just the four of us and sometimes it's just kind of like the novelty wears off after a day or two and then you're kind of left with this huge slab of birthday cake so it, I just kind of figured it was easier to make cupcakes instead because they tend to be eaten a lot quicker so you'll see in this video that's what I ended up doing although Zach did actually say that he would have liked a birthday cake because <laughs> he was asking um, why other people have big birthday cakes and he only had cupcakes so I think he was a little bit disappointed in it you'll also see that we ended up having a birthday cake as well which Neil just picked up from the local supermarket um, he just ended up buying one just because of the fact that it was kind of after the effect it was the day after his birthday and the, the moment had kind of passed a little bit but we still ended up um, giving him a birthday cake so he kind of got two lots of cake <laughs> essentially he did end up actually opening his presents a day early which you'll see um, just because his just because his birthday fell on a school day on a Monday and we figured that we'd let him open them on the day before which was the Sunday just so that he would have basically most of the day to play with with his new toys and things like that and just have time with his birthday presents rather than expect him to like, open all of his presents on the day before school and then expect him to kind of just drop everything and get ready for school we figured that, that would be quite tough to do so um, so we ended up letting him open them a day early so yeah um, he opened his he opened his cards on on his birthday on the morning of his birthday when he woke up but um, obviously that wasn't so bad because he'd already had the day before to, to play with his new toys and things um, we did go out on the Sunday for lunch with Neil's mum and stepdad uh, with nanny and granddad um, they treated us to to a pub lunch out so that was really really nice unfortunately you won't actually see that here I completely forgot to actually film any of the food that we had but we had sort of like a couple of lovely roast dinners and, and things so that was really really nice um, it was sort of you know it gave the kids a chance to kind of spend a couple of hours with nanny and granddad and their little dog came along as well because the pub that we went to was a dog friendly pub so that was quite nice I mean she just sat bless her um, under the table and she was as good as gold so yeah it was really really nice to actually see them uh, the day before Zach's birthday and you'll uh, also see what they they got for him and um, they got him a whole load of puppets uh, from the Jeffy program that's like on the YouTube channel uh, on, on YouTube it's a, a Jeffy, Jeffy show um, SNL or something like that so yeah um, he, he got a few more of those puppets he already had some but he, he wanted them they were on his Christmas list and, and he'd sort of like said well if I don't get any from Christmas you know I want some for my birthday obviously being a month after Christmas so I, I didn't I didn't obviously like I say vlog anything to do with us going out for for lunch or anything um, sadly I completely forgot and it was just nice actually to be in the moment to be honest and just not have to worry about filming or anything but suffice to say the pub lunch was lovely and it was just great to spend time with, uh, with nanny and granddad for a couple of hours um, so yeah um, I'll show you kind of uh, roughly what I did you'll sort of like see an overview of the balloons that I put up um, I did actually film myself blowing up the balloons and tying them and everything but um, well I say that I thought I'd actually hit record but it turns out I don't think I did <laughs> um, I could have sworn I saw the record symbol up in the corner of the screen but um, maybe not or perhaps I deleted it by mistake because I was transferring clips over so I do apologize for that but you'll see the overview of the balloons hung up and like I say I didn't go absolutely crazy I didn't decorate the house out completely with birthday stuff because if he'd been having a birthday party or if he'd had friends round or something like that then obviously I would have would have gone all out and sort of decorated the house with perhaps balloon arches and banners and things like that but because he didn't have anything like that um, I, I just kind of put some balloons up Zach had made it clear actually um, sort of over the weekend that he was quite anxious about going into school because often when it's somebody's birthday they get them to stand up in front of the whole class and the whole class sings happy birthday to them 
and then they have to sort of like tell everybody or they get asked the teachers ask them you know what what did you do or what are your plans or what did you get for your birthday and things like that so it's it's nice in a way sort of like you know showing an interest and, and making them the center of attention for some kids but Zach is not like that he's very much I mean that's another reason why we haven't had any birthday parties for either of the kids actually they sort of like the idea but they don't like the idea of every, everybody sort of looking at them or having the attention on them when it comes to blowing out candles for their birthday cake and things like that so he uh, he didn't have that in school I'd sort of have a word with the teacher and kind of said look do you mind not doing it because he's been quite anxious about it he doesn't want all of the attention which was absolutely fine she was like yeah that's fine it's not for everybody we get it we'll just let it pass quietly um, and also he was kind of like quite embarrassed you know the whole idea of us singing to him as well um, we kind of did he changed his mind afterwards after the effect um, so we kind of like did did all that with him but um, the initial like cupcake thing with the candles and the cupcakes and stuff, we didn't actually end up um, singing happy birthday to him, um, or you won't see that in the vlog. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it's uh, he did change his mind in the end, and we ended up kind of like doing it with his other birthday cake that Neil picked up. So yeah, he he kind of like chops and changes his mind. I think he sort of likes the idea of the attention being on him, but. He does get anxious and a bit embarrassed that that when you know when it comes to the attention being on him. So yeah, he's just one of those like shy kids in that sense, um, which is you know it's fair enough. So um, anyway, uh, you'll you'll kind of see a little bit of the prep and me making the cupcakes and things like that. You'll see the birthday balloons up, um, and then I'll obviously like show you the presents that he got. Um, just give you an overview of those. You'll see him opening his presents and stuff. I managed to kind of get some of that filmed. Although first he sort of like said, don't film me, don't film me, I'm embarrassed. Um, but yeah, I managed to get some of it. He was fine with it in the end. Like once he'd sort of opened a couple and, um, you know, his sister was helping him, I think he felt a little bit better. So yeah, um, I'll take you through. Um, you can watch this vlog through and just get an idea, sort of like see what I did. And I'll catch up with you at the end. I'm on the train headed back to Indiana The rain is forming into rivers outside Writing down all the things that I miss And in the letters you take form No, I won't go back tonight With a habit to the restless me I'm leaving all So first of all, I'm going to show you this uh, thing hand. <laughs> this is obviously from Adam's family slash Wednesday. Uh, you'll probably recognize it. And Amelia got one for Christmas and Zach said he really, really wanted one of his homes. And this was $5.99 from eBay. And next up, we got him some Stumble Guys figures. He loves Stumble Guys on YouTube and um, he plays, plays it on Roblox. It's a Roblox game. And this was a figure set for $12.99 from eBay and speaking of Roblox we also got him this Roblox figure set as well um, again all of these things are basically from eBay <laughs> um, and this was $13.39 next up is this Deadpool figure and this was £20.99 uh, he wanted a Deadpool figure for Christmas um, a lot of these things that were on his Christmas list and they obviously rolled over he got some of the stuff for Christmas but obviously the rest of it rolled over to his birthday um, and the same with this Spider-Man figure, he wanted a Spider-Man Homecoming one, and this was $16.99 from eBay. Something else he also asked for was this Sonic figure. And this was $14.99. He absolutely loves Sonic and um, the Mario Brothers and, and things like that. And yeah, he's got loads of these little figures, but he wanted wanted another one, like a smaller Sonic, Sonic figure. So he's got a few of them now. <laughs> And something else he likes to play with that you probably gather he loves that playing with these little figures and things like the smaller the better actually he just stashes them away and he's got a huge collection of different figures <laughs> and this one was an Among Us figure set and this was $7.49 from eBay. Chasing, 
and also something else that Amelia got for Christmas, she got a money bank. Um, now her one actually came with the fake bank notes and things and it's like a say if you put a pin number in you can change your pin number and keep it secret and it's uh, it, it's, it's just a, sort of like a novelty thing and Zach said he really wanted one. <laughs> he had it on his birthday list having seen Amelia's at Christmas so we got him this one and that's $17.59 from eBay. So next up is this very random looking purchase, very random looking present. So we got some lounge bottoms and a green knitted sort of tank top and a school shirt and an elasticated tie. Um, which the colours don't quite match up. The tie is not exactly the same colour as obviously the tank top and the trousers, you'll, as you'll see. But this is actually sort of like a replica or an improvised version of the school uniform from the Korean TV series All of Us Are Dead. I'm not sure whether anybody's seen it. And it's to do with zombies that invade a school and things after a virus is let loose and gets out of control. And Zach absolutely loves it. He loves anything to do with zombies and stuff like that. He's watched like the shorts on YouTube and things to do with it. And he really wanted his own school uniform. <laughs> they wear. And the school uniform itself was ridiculously priced. And also it was only for adult size. So I had to improvise and go and get a whole load of stuff, <laughs> random stuff. So I've got the boys tie for $3.99, the trousers were $10.89, the, uh, long, sleeve the long sleeve shirt was $8.99 and the tank top was uh, $9.99, all of them from eBay. Um, and I just obviously put it all together as this All of Us Are Dead uniform and he he loved it. I mean, he's worn it loads since. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a crazy random thing there. <laughs> so I just thought I'd quickly explain that. Um, and also, uh, you see at the end there, I got some candles. Obviously, you saw the balloons there and a couple of birthday cards, some wrapping paper. And also the last present there was a Ronaldo kit. Um, it's a Ronaldo shirt, football shirt, and it came with the shorts and the socks and the whole lot, uh, Neil ordered it, but the whole lot was £22. Um, I think he got that from eBay, actually. Um, I haven't got it listed here. Uh, but yeah, it was £22, I believe, from eBay. Um, he got the the sort of like replica kit. It's not obviously the official kit, but it's it's the replica, and he's more than happy with it. Zach, Zach absolutely loves his Ronaldo shirt. <laughs> um, he's got an obsession with football and Ronaldo at the minute for some strange reason. I think things have, he's been watching on YouTube and stuff, and he's got into his head that he loves Ronaldo all of a sudden. <laughs> I don't think he's ever watched a, a full football match with Ronaldo playing but he just loves Ronaldo so uh, yeah that was uh, the last present there so now anyway moving on obviously I just gave you a quick overview of the balloons that I blew up and tied up with some string bunched together and you'll see that this was filmed actually on one of the days last week that Amelia was off sick still I mean she was a lot better in herself but she was just kind of getting her energy levels back I explained in my previous video if you saw that my day in the life and uh, clean and refresh thing that Amelia had been ill all of us have been actually but Amelia was kind of the worst with a bad tummy bug and she basically basically took a week off school uh, just to sort of like you know obviously stop being sick and to try and get her energy levels back it ended up being a week um, so she had it quite bad I think she had it for all of us to be honest we only had it quite mild the rest of us I think Zach was sick twice uh, he was the first to get it and then he passed something on to me I wasn't sick but I felt quite sort of icky for a couple of days and very headachey and and things like that Neil was sick um, a couple of days or so later um, and that was just like a 24-hour thing and he felt a lot better um, sort of a couple of days later he was okay and she seemed to have it the worst poor thing she was she was really really bad with it so when I filmed this this was on a day where she was actually still off so that's why you just saw her in a couple of the shots there um, it was filmed on the Friday actually a couple of days before three days before his actual, actual birthday um, and obviously he opened his uh, like I said in the beginning he opened his presents on the Sunday so I knew that I had to kind of get his presents wrapped and, and stuff and uh, yeah Amelia was still off and mooching about and stuff she was a lot better at this point but it was just kind of a case of giving her that extra day and then you know having her over the weekend get her energy back and she was absolutely fine she ended up going back to school um, on the, the following Monday so yeah she's she's absolutely fine now so yeah I'm just wrapping up all of his presents um, with this blue wrapping paper I, I found this in the shop I got, got a couple of rolls and I actually ended up running out and I had two presents left to wrap but then I remembered uh, you'll see actually um, in, in a few moments that I ended up wrapping the last 
last two presents in different wrapping paper which had like blue and grey stars on it <laughs> um, and it was quite handy because I had it left over from where I had, I had got a couple of sheets of wrapping paper and wrapped a couple of like little knick-knacky bits uh, for Neil's birthday a couple of weeks ago um, just a couple of bits from the kids so yeah it was quite handy that I had a couple of sheets left and it was uh, enough to to do these last two presents that I uh, ended up running out of the other wrapping paper for so yeah actually in the end you'll see the colours actually went quite well sort of like the blue and the grey um, it was kind of almost like I'd planned it but I actually didn't <laughs> I just winged it and it ended up working out fine uh, I mean the wrapping paper got ripped off very quickly anyway and slung in the bin so in the grand scheme of things it didn't really matter but um, it was actually quite nice in, in the end that it, it sort of all seemed to go together, all the colours. I'm just wrapping the presents now, then we'll move on to the birthday vlog itself where you'll see Zach opening the gifts.
So now moving on to the cake making, and I've just got this chocolate sponge mix. Obviously you can make sponge cake or cupcakes with it, and I made cupcakes in, in this case. And obviously you'll see I've got the number seven candle, the happy birthday candle, which has been used uh, once or twice before, but it was still absolutely good to go. And uh, yeah, it was only lit for a, for a minute or two and then it was blown out, so um, I reused that one. And also got these sprinkles, there's all different ones in there, and a disposable piping bag and the little nozzle there to do this uh, chocolate fudge icing on top of the cupcakes uh, before I did put the sprinkles on and then I got these rainbow uh, cake cases and I'm gonna obviously put those in the tin in a moment once I've preheated the oven and this is me just obviously laying them out in the baking tray ready to put the cake mix in and all of this cake mix needed was just two eggs and about eight tablespoons of water added to it and then I just whisked it up for a couple of minutes until it was well mixed and and then divide it into the cake cases and popped them in the oven for about 18 20 minutes and yeah i tested them and they were absolutely cooked through so then i just left them to cool and uh, then moved them onto a wire rack to finish cooling down once they were completely cool i then obviously did the icing and decorated them
Now all the cakes are decorated, I'm just moving them onto this cake stand here and you'll probably recognise this if you saw my last video, my day in the life video uh, with the random purchases that I'd got from eBay recently and I got this uh, cake display, it's like a six in one cake stand and you can use it for like dips and veggie sticks and other bits and pieces, you can even use it as a punch bowl um, with the lid turned over and, and put punch in with, with the glasses and things around the edge and it's really really handy, I just thought this was, this was actually a great idea so I put the cupcakes in it <laughs> um, and obviously it's got a lid as well so it keeps them fresh and yeah I just arranged them in this cake stand here and uh, popped the lid over the top and that will keep them fresh for a few days or so until they get eaten. Um, I did have three extra which I couldn't fit in the cake stand because I didn't want to squat, try and squash them all in um, but I left those to the side and put them in a separate tub so that we could give them to Zach's friend uh, Ralph and his mum and dad just so that they could have a little birthday cupcake as well. <laughs> So Zach, what was your favourite birthday present that you got? No. Um, let me go and get it. Oh, these two. Your favourite. Oh, step back a sec. Right, those two. So, Thing and your Spider-Man figure. Those were your favourite presents. Yeah, those were my absolute favourites, I love them. Excellent. And what was your favourite part about your birthday? Um, Back a sec. Um, my, the phone cake. No, it's not it. Where I got... Yeah, um, we, um, we went out. Oh, I like a special meal with Nanny and Granddad up to the pub. That was your favourite part, was it? Yeah. Oh, excellent. You got puppets so from got Nanny and Grandad, didn't you? Yeah, and we got to see Bailey. We got to see Bailey. That was the most part. The best part. Yeah, I totally agree. You totally agree. <laughs> excellent. We seen Bailey for like a few it's not been as long as that, but it's been a little while. Oh, excellent. Um, oh, yep. My favourite bit about Christmas is where we got the fire. Uh, oh, okay, that, that was Christmas. Yeah, that's yeah, Christmas. That's Christmas. This is a, a birthday. Your birthday. Vlog. Excellent. So, did you enjoy your birthday, Zach? Yeah. But the most favourite cake I, I want, I like, is the football cake. You like the football cake the best? Actually, kind of all the left. Now. Us. She has it now, still. Yeah, he does, yeah. I only ate in one chunk. That's okay, you can have some more tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> So that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed having a little insight into Zach's seventh birthday. He had a great time. As you can see, he loved his presents and everything. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you can keep up with all of our other videos, which I try and post every Monday. And I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. To me, it's not too late to be heard. So tell me what I need. Stop.